life like the Indian style of music. I like Air Rahman music. Yeah, I do adore him like uh, from the childhood. So since I was a kid, I was only most of the time listening to Rahman's music. And uh, still now he's very creative. He's got a very different genre in each song. India is a hidden gold mine. You know the tradition, especially music and spirituality and dance. But still, Indians have never found the right way to present it to the world or market it to the world. There's so much that now the new generation is trying to probably trying to do that. Uh, being in India is so lucky. I mean, if you learn how to market it to the world, that's your secret to success. Any time any instrument comes like this, where uh, it expands the, the traditional way of playing, it inspires you because um, your muscle memory does the same thing, but then suddenly if you do the same thing, it responds different and that challenges you to think differently about the, the way you create music. There's much more to music than just notes, no, right? And the way you play it, it's how you you know, how do you play the key? How you um, give the vibrato on the slowness and speed of that and uh, your aftertouch and polyphonic aftertouch and, and that's what I like. This one is getting us to think about that other side of melodies. We created this college called College of Music and Technology for these amazing youth in India so that they can benefit through the knowledge we give them and through, through the amazing faculty and the experience we've got and share that with the younger people so that they can create wonders in music. After touch is... Yeah, yeah, it's the quiet. Yeah. Everybody always goes for the crescendos on these things, but it's the decrescendos that it's like getting quieter again on things. It's the joy of guiding people is something else that changed my life. When I heard them, I felt like the possibilities of making something phenomenal in India, which I always dreamt of, you know. Oh. Uh -huh. 
previously when you know you know all the sampled instruments which came in the last two decades you can never get a smooth legato so in physical modeling i think was nice about it is you can almost uh, mimic something or make it different not mimic an instrument but take its essence of playing and create a one different version it's amazing because it's so sensitive it's like kind of really really nice it's amazing one day i found a patch which is very close to a wedding instrument called nadasuram in south india and i was just playing and playing my assistant Tony I think in LA was just listening to it after 3 hours we realized it was from started at 6 pm and it was 9:30 and it just kept going that's a good quality of an instrument where you you don't never get bored and you're in for surprises what your mind allows your hand to play Uh, the gap between acoustic and electronic are going to, you know, they're blurring. Uh, the physical modeling is doing such a great, you know, job, um, making every nuance you play expressive, and you named it expressive. So <laughs> it sounds good for me. <laughs> I don't know what it means, but. <laughs> 